You probably can't tell from just the video, but the Type R did beat me each time we ran. We ran a couple more times than what we videoed, but yeah, the Type R took me every time off the line. You can't really tell from the video. We need to get better footage. We're definitely going to do it again. I was planning having a GoPro on the side of my car, but that didn't work out. But we are going to do it again sometime. We just need to find a better road so the cops don't get called on us again. But we're going to have somebody on the inside of the vehicles photo or uh, videoing so that there can be somebody inside. But off the line, the Type R was actually a little bit slower. I'm not sure if it's just because it's front-wheel drive or he's having issues with his, like, traction control system. But, um, yeah, so, no, that thing's in the way. So the Type R did beat me. Once we got to about 30, the Type R started pulling on me. And by the end of the race, which we only did it till about 60, I think, I think we went to 60 or 70, the Type R was probably about a car length ahead. Maybe, yeah, probably about a car length, maybe a car and a half. But off the line, the 350Z did get it. It was probably maybe half a car, maybe half a car ahead at the launch. Now, I don't know if my car was acting up, if I was doing something different or what's going on, but just the other video that I made, I did a zero to 60 run, right? And I ran a 6.6 .6 when I did that video. But when I was running with him the other night, I don't know if it was because my intake temps were a lot hotter than they were the night before, but when I ran with him, I only ran an 8.2. That was my fastest all night. So I'm not too sure what I was doing wrong or if it was the car. The only thing different from those two nights that I can think of, because I mean, the temperature was pretty much the same. It wasn't like it was a cold night or anything. The uh, road surface was different, but I don't think it should have been too different. They're right next to each other, kind of in the same neighborhood. So I think it's the same road surface. But it definitely could be different, don't get me wrong. But the only thing that I can, that I know for sure changed is that I installed this new intake. I apologize about the wind, it just started picking up. But I installed this new intake and it's the JWT pop charger. And as you can tell, I don't have the heat shield on it right now. I didn't have the stuff to drill a hole in this. So that could be why it's so hot. But honestly, this heat shield's not even that good. Like, let me show you. I don't know if it would do that good of a job of shielding it, honestly. I mean, I'm sure it's better than just being open, but this is the heat shield here. And it just kind of, it slides in here, and all it does is put a gap in between there and there. So I don't really know if it would make that big of a difference compared to the stock one, where it's the big box and the intake's on the inside, so it, this should, this box should hold or block out the heat a lot better than the other one. So I'm thinking about trying to cut this box up so that I can fit that intake inside of this box. Um, as far as I know, it doesn't feel any different, but again, it's just an intake. You're probably not going to feel it anyways. As far as the cops getting called on us, apparently somebody in the neighborhood heard the cars or saw them or something and called the cops and said that we were street racing. 
but we just said that we were making a video. I mean, I had my drone in my car, I had this camera, and we were kind of just making a video, so we just told the cops that we were just making a video, and they kind of, I don't know if they even believed us, but they just kind of said, okay, that's fine, just do it somewhere else. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more content of this car, or the Type R, or whatever, me and him are friends, so we will probably be making videos together quite a bit. But if you guys want to see more of that content, don't forget to subscribe. Always leave comments. It's always cool to see your guys' feedback. And then, of course, likes always help and all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope to see you guys in the next video.